I'm noticing the giant do not feed sign behind you, and I'm wondering... Oh, I can't go over there. I do have a donut in my backpack. I've never been one to follow signs. Uh, hey, hey, you little thieves, give that back! What's up, guys, and welcome back to Vacation Simulator. So last episode, we were introduced to these two dummy bots, and the entire idea that vacations are being stringently quantified by the number of memories you can form while on them. Isn't that right, stick up the butt bot? Remember, human, vacation is about memories. More memories equals more fun. More fun equals more memories. You need memories for a memorable vacation. Got it memorized? What's wrong with this guy? Say memories again. Memories. Ooh, are you gonna take that from him? Is there some kind of vacation package I can buy where you two fight to the death? <laughs> Cause that'd be awesome, okay? That'd be worth like two, maybe three memories. I only have five memories right now. We only got four of 22 on the beach. I was gonna move on to another area, but apparently I saw nothing on the beach. So I think we're gonna go back. How's it going, Fred? I've been meaning to ask, are you tired of all the tourists hanging out in your living room yet? Because my god, are there ever a lot of them. <laughs> like, we've already done a little bit of bot yoga, some bot sports, some bot cooking, whatever that was. Uh, but other than that, you know, everybody else is still fair game. There's uh, a whole lot of memories left to be had here. And I'm really curious what's going on with the music that's just blasting out over this place. Is that your doing? What are you doing up there? Oh, I can actually get up here. Hey, Grill Master. <laughs> you got some kind of tower kitchen up here? Is it normal for a beach to have a tower kitchen? That seems kind of weird. Oh, hello, Mr. Butterfly. Yeah, you see, I can be friends with the wildlife. It's just the robots that I freaking hate. All right now, little guy, th that's enough. All right, I gotta go do annoying robot things with that hand, so no, no, if, if you could, if you could please just, just go on, just go on, go, will you, will you just go, oh crap, uh, should I have thrown him in something called the Slice-O-Matic? <laughs> oh, that seems like a grave error. I, I'm kind of curious though, right, you gotta find out. Oh, okay. So they made it so you can't actually slice up living things. I'm happy somebody programmed that in. <laughs> Can I rescue him? Yeah, there we go. Okay, go away now. Bye. Dude, I'm sure you're gonna want me to help you with something up here because that's what everybody seems to want when they go on vacation. But do you think you could turn down the jacked trumpet music? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be able to hear whatever your mustard stained self has to say. Thank you. Bots, I'm a supercomputer grilling machine, but I think I'm an over my head. Can you help me clear some of these requests? Oh, okay. So you just want me to prepare some food? Yeah, I could do that, right? Uh, Saint Castle Bot wants a cheeseburger. Sports Bot wants a hot dog. Seems easy enough. First things first, though. I gotta go ahead and sample the beach cheese. <laughs> yep. That's gross, all right. <laughs> exactly as I expected. Now, we want real cheese, right? That's cheese. That's a burger. I would imagine I can combine the two to make a cheeseburger. Oh, I probably need to slice this, right? That's what this is for. Oh, isn't that clever? That looks done to me. Good to you? Uh, do you think half would be all right? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Something like this? Uh, here you go. Whoa, 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 human. I'm not gonna take those burgers to the bots for you. You're gonna take them yourself. Really? You're gonna make me deliver them too? Do you think they'd notice? You're probably saying castle boss, right? Here you go. How thoughtful, human. Thanks for delivering this burger. You're welcome. Never even realized. I'm gonna have to come back here and make a sandcastle with you because we haven't seen anything like this yet. She had absolutely no clue that that burger was half eaten. I don't know how that's possible, but now I'm really curious, how much more can I screw with these orders? 
Like, Sportsbot wants a hot dog. Simple enough, right? Go ahead and grab yourself some frozen wieners, thaw them out, change over the bread box. That's clever. Okay. Yeah, we've done this a million times before. This is just Job Simulator. I don't... There we go. I don't think those are done. Okay, we got ourselves a hot dog. We need uh, some artificial yellow mustard. Gross. And some tomato ketchup. So this is the correct order. This isn't what we're going to give her right off the bat. <laughs> Let's see if we can make something super screwed up. Could I maybe slice one of these? Ew, what the hell? How does a hot dog turn into a burger? Can I make some kind of gross burger dog? Nope, nope, that may be against the will of God. Okay, we'll just leave that alone. We could definitely use a burnt one. Yeah, what if we do a burnt one with some cheese and, ooh, mayonnaise? I was gonna say oil, but bots probably like oil. Nobody likes mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, this will do. So, we'll bring both of these and wish me luck. Do you know what's even worse than a burnt mayo hot dog? <laughs> a soggy burnt mayo hot dog. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I brought your order. Catch. This hot dog is very protein, but it's not what I asked for. Just remember, practice makes perfect. Now get back out there and try your best. Why do you throw everything off my face? I really don't appreciate that. It's perfectly good, right? Yeah, I'm not throwing up. It's been perfectly good. <laughs> Here, fine. Food is adequate. I think that's a memory. Red, uh, I'm not gonna lie, you kinda look hungry. How about this? When he's not looking, I'll make you something special. But first, oh, I gotta go ahead and get my memory. All those orders, mate. Here's a memory for your trouble. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Beach orders one. Cool. I still really like that whole animation, so that mean there's even more beach orders? Of course. So Burger Bots wants eight of anything? Why can't you make your own burger? Why am I doing all the work? Actually, I'm doing all the cooking, I deliver it. What exactly do you do? Wow, this looked a lot easier on BotTube. Well, I'm glad I can learn from an expert. You just don't know what you're doing? I'm, I'm teaching you, is that it? <laughs> Suntan Bot wants some kind of gross hot dog, and then Yoga Bot wants bread. Just bread? Don't fitness people usually cut out the carbs? Not everything that's in between the carbs? <laughs> Here you go. Tell BurgerBot the food is accurate. It is accurate, for sure. I just don't know why. Do you want some burnt hot dog, little guy? Come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we can still be friends, right? Or, or maybe I'm not in the business of being friends. Maybe I just want to see... What I can break in this game. That doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, yeah, you know what? You just be on your way. We're gonna go ahead and make Suntan Bot some kind of pretzel hot dog. Oh, and I need more coolant. But I don't know what happened to the coolant that I already bought. I got tons of crap in my backpack, but no coolant. Hey, idiot, what happened to the coolant? Human, I know it's nice out here, but couldn't you enjoy the weather somewhere else? All right, cool. I guess you don't care about your burger all that much. Um, if I'm gonna buy coolant, then I need a sand dollar, but I'm not seeing any sand dollars in the water. This is, oh, problematic. We do have a sand dollar, but uh, we also have a little friend for Fred. Hello, ma'am. Can I maybe introduce you to a good friend of mine? <laughs> Do you think this is actually going to work? I'm going to play matchmaker. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, Fred, this is Wilhelmina. If you want to bang her, then just play nice, okay? D don't, don't pull her on her shell. She doesn't like that. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? If anybody needs me, I'll be in the Dude Man Bro shop buying some coolant. I have one sand dollar. There we go. And coolant. Human, you gotta vent for yourself. That's what I just did. I I, I don't know. 
<laughs> you got rum in that or what? Right, we needed coolant, we needed mustard, we needed a uh, hot dog, which I'm short on. Get those started. And a pretzel bun. There we go. Oh, God. This isn't good, right? This tastes gross. Yeah, it tastes like vomit. One wiener in a bun, and then a little bit of mustard, and a little bit of coolant. Sure. Why not? I gotta know. Oh, it doesn't make me throw up. Well then, turns out a little coolant doesn't hurt a human. <laughs> Do you think he'd be willing to accept half a hot dog? Hopefully. Here you go. Yes, my favorite food. How do people not realize that's not the full order? So the last order that we have left is you. And you just want eight of whatever? Just anything? You might want to be a little bit more specific than that. When you say eight of anything, I could definitely come up with a whole lot of random things to put in here. Huh. So I can't just put, like, anything I want? Oh, that's a bummer! Fine, hold on. Fortunately, I've already figured out a way around this. There we go. First, you add a little bit of beach cheese, then another layer of burnt hot dog, and then some oil. When you finish an order, bring it to the bot and hand it to them. Is that like some kind of passive aggressive way of telling me to hurry up? Because I'm working on it, okay? Don't rush a master. <laughs> and a little bit of mayo? Mmm, oh, yeah. I embarrass myself in front of the other bots. Thanks for showing me how to grill. You're welcome. Not to be rude, but do you have some kind of short circuit going on right now? Like, did some of the condiments leak into you? Because I'm not waving at you, but you keep randomly talking to me, and it's pissing me off. Like, all I want to do is focus on this eight-tier monstrosity. We're at four right now. What else can we add? Oh, yeah. I forgot that there's, like, all this stuff. A pineapple? Pineapple would work well. I probably need to slice it, don't I? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Nothing like a little mayo on your pineapple. Maybe some watermelon? Slice that as well. Perfect. Some corn. What is happening? Why is it popping? Oh! Is it just warm out? I took it out of the fridge, and now it's popping in the sun? <laughs> That's kind of clever. <laughs> Stop that. Uh, and maybe one of these. I don't even know what these are. Some kind of random cookie thing. What are you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's eight. And then we'll just kind of sear it. Give it a quick little touch. And then a uh, different top. Ooh. Nice and seared. There we go. Here you go! Crikey, I hope that's not for me. I definitely didn't order that. Hey, if it's for another bot, you have to bring it to them yourself. What's... It's definitely eight of something, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Oh, maybe this thing doesn't count. Maybe, maybe that little half thing that I ate isn't really a topping, so what if we just add in a little bit more pineapple? There we go, good? Oh, uh, this is not quite right, mate. It does look like a burger, but we can't leave out any ingredients. Check the board to see what you could be missing. I see. Stop throwing it again. No, I just ate half of it. Will you stop throwing it into my mouth? <laughs> this is the problem. You didn't want that. You wanted this. Damn it, I was just trying to be creative. Here, take it! Well, uh, interesting. This looks very burger. Look, there's more requests for bots on the board. Make sure you deliver their orders straight to them. Oh, man, you are grilling it out there. I bet everyone thinks I'm the best burger flipper around. Finishing these orders makes a great memory. Yeah, it had better. What did we get this time? Beach orders number two. <laughs> All right, but for real, could you please turn down the Jack Trumpet music? It sounds like somebody kicked your speakers. This is all something we're gonna have to save for another time, okay? I'm not spending this entire episode doing your job. I'm on vacation. <laughs> I got more important things to do. Where'd the missus go? Did she run away already? I told you to be gentle with her, okay? Did you? Pluck her shell off? I made the same mistake. <laughs> Can't really blame you. Ah, uh, like, there's this random lady hanging out in the water. 
She doesn't look like all that much fun. The sand castle bot, whatever you're up to. I'm kind of curious what's going on. Oh, the dive site. Right. I think I need to go through here. Something weird happening over here. And I need exactly five memories. Photos. What's your deal? Oh, hi there. Are you also on vacation? Great. My sibling bots and I couldn't decide which vacation we wanted to go on, so we each went with our favorite. Now, I have to prove to my siblings that each vacation is the greatest vacation. Oh, 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 hey, could you help me out? There are sketches of all the best vacation moments on that stand. Take a photo that matches the image and place it right on the top of the sketch. Oh, that's clever. So, for each area, each different vacation, there's one of these guys, and I need to do, like, a little Pokemon Snap kind of thing? Why are your handles hot dogs? It's kind of freaking me out. Okay, hold on a second. I, I do have a camera. I just need to take a picture of you. A boop. There we go. And then, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Now my siblings will see how much fun I'm having. Oh, and uh, by the way, human, you can replace any photo on the stand, as long as it matches the original sketch. Our an update's great? I know, right? Cool. Okay, so then you also want me to take a photo of... Well, what is it, just three random things? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's random things. I don't need to decipher what those are. It's clearly, what, cheese, a pickle... And a coconut? We could try. I'm not gonna lie, guy. I don't see how this is gonna prove to your siblings that the beach is the best place to go. That tower reeks like burnt pickles and cheese. Nice! It's not a beach party without some gourmet grub. Whoa! That's an entire set! The fun of beach vacation has really inspired you, human. Take this memory. Oh! Cool, okay. Beach photos one. <laughs> Neat. And now we got more. We need four sand dollars, uh, me and some kind of inflatable sea mammal, and then that stupid exercise bot. So what's going on over here, vacation boss? Looks like there's another scanner here. I know efficiency bot is worried about the success of the simulation, but this just seems excessive. <sighs> oh well. It looks like you need five memories here on the beach before we can see the dive site. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm memory rich. No problem Pass at all. Accepted. You now have enough memories to access the dive site. Yes. Paging the self-driving boat. That was loud. Ooh, I think that's a submarine. Yes. Let's go, human. Hop on board and throw the switch so we can go diving. Okay. Holy to to crap! Site, just push that lever to the max. This is awesome. <laughs> I get my own boat, or you can't. Oh, oh no! Wilhelmina, did he hurt you? I told him to be gentle with your shell. I'm, I'm so sorry. It said self-driving boat, right? I'm not gonna need to do any steering because there are a whole lot of rocks and islands around here, and I have no sweet clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it to max and hope for the best. Okay, we're not Welcome dead. Welcome to the dive site. Move off the back of the ship to go diving. Leaving the ship as a waiver of all liabilities on behalf of the resort. Enjoy your dive, human. Wait, what was that? What was that? That, that quick little jargon? <laughs> Something about liability? Uh. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we're going diving. Hopefully, I know how to, to hold my breath. I'm gonna take this with me just in case. You know, how about we just, uh. Yeah, there we go. That'll save me from a shark. Whoa. <gasps> what the hell? This is unreal. I cannot get over how much is in this game. I thought that was a tiny little inflatable sea mammal. Turns out not so tiny. Look at all the gross little butthole sea life. You can even hear it. <laughs> cool. Uh, hi. Oh, hello. Most people come down here to see the sunken ship, but I'm more interested in marine life. We've all seen fish, but there are aquatic creatures down here unlike anything else. 
could you give me photos of the more unique citizens of the sea so I may add them to my collection? Sure. Um, I'm noticing the giant do not feed sign behind you, and I'm wondering... Oh, I can't go over there. I do have a donut in my backpack. <laughs> I've never been one to follow signs. Uh, hey, hey, you little thieves, give that back! You two think you're wise guys, huh? You think you could steal my donut, make me go all the way back up to the surface to get something to feed the do not feed sign monster? Give me back my donut, cheat. Okay, yeah, you know what? You just go on and do your thing. I definitely need to get some food for whatever they don't want me to feed. I just need to get past all these little idiots. Maybe the pirate ship still has one? I doubt it. To the hold. Do not disturb. Please be nice. Frowny face. I don't get it. Who am I not disturbing? Jesus, will you not sneak up on a guy underwater? What do you want? Hello, human. I've been researching this wreck for the longest time, but a mystery still eludes me. They say Bodbeard had a favorite sea shanty that would play every time they set sail. But I can't figure out how it went. Well, there must be some kind of clue around here. Is that it? It, it, it's 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 right there. I literally turned my head and found it. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, I would imagine this rainbow of clams acts as some kind of xylophone. I, I probably need to play this. So what is it? Teal, green, yellow, red and pink at the same time, and then green. So teal, green, yellow, red and pink at the same time, green. How was that, Mr. Kissy? Oh, no? Okay, screw me, I guess. I thought that was it. Maybe it's supposed to be purple and not pink? What if I do... Like that? Do you have any advice? No, you're just gonna keep running away. Okay, screw it then. I, I guess I'm the dumb one. Maybe with something interesting down in the hold? I don't even know what a hold is. Woo! Hello? Check this out. I wonder if there's a way to open this chest. Can we keep this moving? This is a good memory. What's your problem? Oh. Do I need this? Oh, there's a key. Um, yeah, that's usually the best way to unlock a chest, right? Could I... No? Oh, there's one. Need uh, various keys. Okay. There's another one. And another one. And then some kind of code. Uh... Oddbeard's treasure, you are here. Okay, so I'm already at the X. He left the treasure map with the treasure. Oddbeard wasn't a smart one. Was he related to one of you two? I'm not seeing any clues as to how I would turn this dial, but I guess I could just try all of them, right? It was the first one. Well then, <laughs> mystery solved, guys. Take the three keys sitting next to the chest, turn the dial once, and uh, you got yourself Oddbeard's treasure. Ooh. Wow, human! You unlocked the secret of Buttbeard's treasure! What is this? Buttbeard's outfit? I thought the human was going to be generating memories, not playing dress-up. This whole excursion has really thrown off the metrics. The human is making memories. Can't you see how much fun they're having? But the metrics are trending downwards. Just look at this chart. Let me see that. Are you sure it's right side up? Of course it's correct. My math coprocessor is certified at the atomic level. Maybe we aren't measuring the right thing. I'm not sure. I've always been a champion at quantity. I'm going to rerun the numbers. I'll talk with efficiency bot and see if you can sort this out. If you want to head back to the beach immediately, just use that door. And no matter what, remember to continue enjoying your vacation. Will do. Okay. Thanks, guys. I don't know what he's talking about. This is a great memory, right? I just became a pirate. I, I, oh, I even get a little hook. <laughs> Does this work? Uh, it's a kaleidoscope. Yeah, I should have expect no better from Botbeard and his stunned self. An eye patch. I can still see through both eyes, so that's a good thing. Yarrr. I think we'll respect the dead, leave Botbeard's treasure here. Maybe we could just close this so that nobody will ever be able to figure out how to get to it. Right, they're way too stunned. Can I take the keys as well? Genius. <laughs> it's practically sealed for all eternity. I don't really want to go to the dock though. I want to figure out that stupid code. 
Wait a minute, it changed! Right now the pink is slightly before the red rather than being directly over it. Am I losing my mind? No, okay, the answer is no. I'm just yelling at a virtual reality robot underneath a virtual reality sea about a virtual shanty that I'm gonna play on a bunch of virtual rainbow clams. Teal, green, yellow, pink, red, green. We're doing pirate things, uh, or, uh, maybe, we are on Bob Beard Chef, no, oh, oh, well, I'll figure out the lyrics on my own, human. Oh, thank you for helping me with my research. I'll remember this forever, and here's a memory for you. There we go, I was gonna say, let me remember it forever, okay, perfect. The Sea Shanty. <laughs> Worth it. I swear that they were directly on top of one another. There's no way I screwed that up, is there? I'm gonna feel like an idiot when I go and edit this and it was actually that way the entire time. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Vacation Simulator, guys. And I just wanted to say really quickly that like, I know a lot of other YouTubers are playing this right now because Job Simulator became such a big thing so long after it was released, but to see so many people commenting on my first episode saying that they saw all these other people playing it and they waited for my video to come out before they watched, it, it just means a lot to me. You know, I'm really happy that people enjoy my take on a game and they'll go so far as to wait for me to play it. So I just wanted to say I, I recognize you, I see the comments, I appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.